okay students here we go let's go ahead and start SketchUp and set up and make our very first real project no more tutorials well maybe some but um, the idea now is to start to apply what you've learned with doing those SketchUp tutorials I hope like goodness you have watched number one two and three and really 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 done because here comes the real deal okay so you're going to choose a template you may be selected the top you're going to roll down and pick product design for woodworking in inches start using SketchUp very very first thing you're going to do is go to window model information sixteenth um, of an inch enable snapping <coughs> and then make it go away Okay. When we built the cabinets before, the first thing that we did was built to build the um, the sides. Okay, we we built the sides on that uh, bookshelf thing that was made before. Well, the board that goes the whole way, you want to be the first board that you build. So it kind of depends on your on your box how you're going to build it. Um, if I if on my box the front's going to go the whole way, then I want to do that first. If the side's going to go the whole way, I want to do that one first. That way I'll make dados and everything will fit inside of that. Okay, so I'm going to go, let's say I'm going to make my front and my back go the whole distance. So when I look down in the bottom right hand corner, I can see 94 inches by 3 and 1 16th inches. One of those two numbers is much smaller that's the 3 and 1 16th inches that tells me that that's going to be the thickness of the board and realistically if I'm going to build a small box let's say I'm going to build the thing 12 inches comma and I'm going to go with 5 eighths of an inch it's kind of what a lot of the people's stuff has come out to whatever yours comes out to that's fine this is going to work and you can see there it is at 12 by five eighths okay so the next thing we're going to do is give that thing some height the wood I've got this year is pretty short so let's go with three inches and hit enter then the next thing I'm going to do is make my um, guidelines so it's much easier to draw in my um, dados and rabbits Okay, so when I now see how that is drawing a straight line, that's because I draw I grab the midpoint first. Once again, I, I grab the tape measure tool. If I grab the midpoint, not always, but some there we go. This time it's working right. But if I grab the middle of the edge, somewhere other than the end or the midpoint, it always pulls out right. See how I'm on a red line, and this line down below right here is red and this line is red. When I'm on red that means I'm in the red axis and then I'm in the right direction. I need to be in the right direction. So I'm going to move over the same as the thickness of the material which is 5 eighths of an inch. Hit enter. Go over here, not in the middle, not on the corner and move over on the red axis 5 eighths of 1 inch. Now I could also go from here whoops I could also go from here and push up a quarter of an inch remember I have my bottoms and I could go up another quarter of an inch I remember the bottoms are not exactly a quarter of an inch but that's okay now on here I can now take my guidelines and I can draw out where I'm going to go in. Remember how the dados go in the same depth as uh, the uh, rabbits for the end go in the, the same depth as these dados. They both go in whether it's an eighth or quarter of an inch or whatever you choose. This is five eighths of an inch thick. On a dado what I really want to do is I want to have a ledge that's deep enough Oops. I really want to have a ledge that's deep enough to hold it in there nicely. I don't want my bottom to fall out easily. Um, 
so I go somewhere between a third and a halfway through on five eighths since a quarter is two eighths that's two fifths of the way through so I'm going to select that spot right there it says it wants me to do something it didn't seem to be too big of a deal okay so now I've got I've got that piece there we go now am I completely done yes I am so now I can take and get rid of my um, dimension lines I'm going to select those and get them out of there I'm going to click this three times one two three and make a group and then I'm going to use a guide and let's say I want to go over five inches And then when I bring this over, I'm going to start to bring it over, hit control, bring it over here. I'm going to flip on the green axis and see how it flips through. Then I've got to remove it back so that in the end I'm actually truly five inches across. So there we are, we got both sides. Then the next thing I need to do is to make, now these are both groups by the way. So now what I need to do is to put in my ends. So I just grabbed a rectangle tool, went corner to corner, made sure I was indexed, brought it in. Here's my push pull tool and then I push this in here. Alright. Now if I go one, two, three, and go intersect faces with model, I'll show you a trick. Then I can take that one and that one and hide those because I intersected it with the faces. Um, I made the thing um, show me where uh, the stuff was. So on here, I'll end up with a data that goes across here. My data that goes across here goes from there to there, and it goes in that quarter of an inch. So now I can take that, and I can push it in a quarter of an inch. There it is. Okay. And now on this, I now have those intersecting marks. I can take those back out. Actually, before I push it, edit, undo, push, pull, because it makes extra lines. There, there. Oops, edit, undo. Now when I push that in, I don't end up with that extra lines that I'd have to go erase. Just go some amount in that direction, hit a quarter inch. Now uh, I've got that, so I can go one, two, three, make group. Now when I say edit, unhide all, I get my other sides again. Now notice I'll be able, because I, this is a group, this is a group, and this is a group. I'll be able to grab this one bring it down, hit control, bring it to here, click it in, right click, flip along the red axis and it's in there now. Now I want to, I want to draw the bottom. See how this is all going to work. Um, so now I can take this thing and there's a couple ways to do this. I can select this side and hide it. I can go down in here so I can see nicely into this corner. Then I'm going to take this and make sure it clicks on to that spot and that spot.
so by holding it on there it tells it that that's where I want to go to it's called indexing so now I'll be able to pull that out remember this wouldn't work really if I didn't have everything grouped my bottom is going to be as long as this you can see it pretty much from here I want my bottom to be as long as the side is I bring it to there and unhide all and then now we're getting pretty close to our the end okay so at this point um, I want to group my bottom one two three mid group I'll put a top on it and I'll go to there and then when I push it up I'll push it up I don't know five eighths of an inch and enter now I have my box make the top of group make group and that is the next project to do so if you can do this you're an ace so hopefully you're all aces and um, that's it sweet time to party um, yeah with ginger ale sweet here we go